Hi folks, it's Jody with Strength and Wisdom Tarot. Here to do a random reading for the 18th of August. Now, like I always say, these are general readings. Take what applies. If it applies, you know what to do with the rest. And thank you for everyone who has liked, subscribed, shared to my channel. You guys rock! And if anyone would like a personal reading with me, all the, the info is in the box below. I do readings within a 24-hour period of contact. So whether you shoot me an email or give me a shout over the phone, things are set up quickly and done quickly. If you like to learn tarot, I have tarot card classes. There are five videos plus a bonus video. They're $20 a piece. You can learn at your own pace. Uh, and I coach throughout the whole thing. And uh, my mystery healing boxes that bring out the highest and best qualities of your crystals and stones. And they look absolutely amazing no matter what room you have them in. Give me a shout if you're interested. And I'm also doing life path readings that are absolutely amazing for um, getting rid of blockages and um, just, they're awesome. So give me a shout if you want to learn more. Okay, this one wanted to pop out. Wow, we get the star card, the Aquarius card, healing energy here. A card to let you know that the universe hears someone, their guides are with them. These are things that go on behind the scene. The blessing in disguise, perhaps. But a wish might be getting granted. Hmm. Because somebody chose not to reunite. Hmm. Or engage in some partying. In the upright, this is the reuniting card, the Three of Cups. You know, coming over, having you day, me day, any day. But in the reverse, somebody declined could have been a party somebody didn't go to it could have been somebody wanting to hook back up and this person didn't but chose not to reunite oh, that's too many you know maybe somebody's being guided here not to hang around certain people or a certain pack, so to speak. Hmm. Interesting. Ah, we have the Queen of Cups here. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, or somebody who takes on these properties. This person has their emotions in check. Very intuitive. Can be very sentimental. Hmm. This is somebody who incorporates somebody else's feelings as well as their own. We make it decisions of the heart. Oh. Well. Now we have the seven of pentacles, the investment card. Putting all your time, your energy, your love into something. And see if it's worth doing. If you get back what you put into it. And if you would do it again. And then you have the King of Cups. Interesting power couple here. Again, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, or somebody who takes on these properties. This might be drinking. Queen of Cups has got her back turned towards the King of Cups. Now this could be in a friendship, partnership, love ship, any one of those ships. But somebody's, wor somebody's wondering... Or maybe taking stock if something is worth doing anymore. Because under the star card. <laughs> yeah. The Capricorn card of the devil. Obsessions, addictions, illusions. Feeling bound and tied to something or someone that will never change or end. Codependency. Sex, porn, gambling, chocolate, smoking, you name it. And just negative talk. That could be why somebody doesn't want to reunite with somebody. Somebody doesn't want to invest anymore. They're trying to heal themselves after something toxic. Hmm. After something toxic, after something heartbreaking as well. Three of Swords and Disappointment. And it's right under the Three of Cups. Somebody might be trying to heal here after something negative, something heartbreaking, disappointing. And they're just not ready now. 
And somebody here could be, you know, wondering, are they going to invest in me still? Are we going to fix this? Somebody's very wounded here. Very wounded. And under the Queen of Cups, you have the Four of Cups, the Daydreaming card, the Fantasizing card. But this person looks more, instead of fantasizing, looks more, you know, would have, could have, should have, so to speak. There's something being offered, and this person can't see it. Or doesn't want to see it because of the pain and the heartache or the toxicity of something. Again, somebody's very, very wounded and can't see any type of reconciliation. And under the Seven of Pentacles, you have the Five of Pentacles. Someone feeling outcasted, shunned, blocked, the outside looking in. Someone feels alone, abandoned. Could be a financial pinch as well. But somebody's on the outs with somebody. The next thing you have is the world card. Wrapping this up. Buttoning up. Something coming to, to an end. The cycle has run its course. It's right under the king of cups. Bottom of the deck you have the hair font. This could be a marriage. Nope. Hope the wind doesn't take the cards away. The tourist card of having faith, having hope. High institutes of learning. This is doing, you know, things traditionally, conventionally. Textbook, I always say. But it's having a moral standard that we don't bend or lower for anyone or anything, or we shouldn't. So somebody here looks like they, they want a second go at something, and somebody just is too hurt. And I just rather keep this person out of their life now. Okay, let's get into it. We have the star card here of healing. A wish being granted. But somebody here doesn't feel like reuniting or reconnecting. Either with a group of people or a certain person. It could be a water-like person. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. And somebody here is thinking about what they have invested, what they've already brought into, you know, this friendship, partnership, love ship, any ship. And they're wondering if it's really worth it. And it could be either with a longtime partner or a spouse. Again, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, or somebody who takes on these properties, King of Cups. And whatever happened here that was toxic, a codependency... was heartbreaking, whether it was a third party or not. Disappointing. I think somebody here keeps thinking about what happened and they're trying to get over it. And maybe somebody feels left out in the cold or somebody turned someone out in the cold because of this deception of some sort. And where one person wants to Repair it. I think somebody here wants to wrap it up and just be done with it and move on. Because somebody's moral standard, maybe not letting them forgive and forget, so to speak. So let's break this one down. There is a situation here that needs some healing or some guidance here after something toxic. Because of this toxicity, it brought in heartbreak. And convinced somebody not to reunite. Somebody could be deep in their feels. Possible water-like person, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Someone who takes on these properties. That thinks about what happened. A lot. And they might have casted somebody out or somebody might have casted them out. And they're thinking, was this even worth it? Was it worth my time, my energy, my love? And somebody might be thinking, this is going to end. Either with a significant other or somebody water-like. That something's ran its course. Whoa. 
So that is what I have for you. Please keep on liking, subscribing, sharing to my channel, and I'll see everybody back here real soon. Take care.